Welcome back to DXB Today. Now we promise you some of the region's biggest creators today and they're going to be giving us great advice and we are delivering on that indeed. With us now is Upton Saidi, a content creator and Upton media founder. We're so excited to have you in the studio. I'm excited to be here. And I know you were watching our show thinking, man, they're having so much fun. I can't wait to get in on that, right? <laughs> yes, here I am. <laughs> now, not only are you a content creator, but you also help a lot of businesses flourish and get the word out there about what they do. What are some of the biggest pieces of advice that you try to follow for yourself and also for your brands? Yeah, the biggest mistake companies are making right now is they're making ads. They're making these polished ads with really nice cameras, lots of graphics and text. So it's not relatable, right? Yeah. We, we all know it. We all swipe when we see that, right? Yeah. So how can a company become more humanized, bring in creators, bring in faces? Not influencers, right? Influencers can be a lot of money, but creators are people with just maybe a few thousand followers that know how to make videos. So what my company does is we actually find these people and then they become the face of the brand so it's much more relatable content that's so oh. interesting and I love and it, you're right it has to be relatable how do you find these people then are you like auditioning them <laughs> <laughs> well it's a lot of networking right we go to events we meet them we have a database of a, a few hundred here in Dubai oh, and nice. uh, and if our client doesn't like any of them we'll we'll start to scout for them so I typically look for creators between like 5,000 and 50,000 followers so okay. again it sh it's proven to me that they know what they're doing they know how to make a good video but they're not quite an influencer that makes but sense. don't you think like when you're talking with the marketing of any company well, why you don't think like prioritize yourself like I will do a better video <laughs> but you'll take the full budget and it will be all yours so sometimes I actually compete with myself so yeah. sometimes a company will come and say hey we want to do a, an influencer collab deal and I'll say right let's say you had ten thousand dollars in mind instead of giving that to me or an influencer for one or two videos why not take that and get 20 or 30 videos that you can post on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Now you're posting that you know, 40 times and you can actually own your own audience. So every mm. time you get a follower, that's your audience rather than a one and done mm. uh, video with an influencer. And I think that's a good thing and you pointed on it as well, Casey, with the, with the actual auditioning because you'll get some people and they're, they've got millions of followers. You don't know how they got their numbers, by the way. A lot of them yeah. don't pay for them. Um, but then they're not good. They're not relatable. So do you actually do um, like interviews and, and, and auditions and stuff like that? We don't do interviews or auditions, but we look at the videos that they've been posting. And you know, one of our clients is it's a multi-billion dollar company based in the US. They actually want, and we encourage them to want this, the types of videos where it's girls doing makeup in their, in their bathroom. It's a guy sitting in his car and, and talking and providing value. So it's like, it's, you know, there's a term called UGC, user generated content. And this is where brands really thrive right now on social media is by making the videos feel relatable. So even if you have a lot of money, even if you have like, you know, the biggest budgets for your marketing, think about using faces and actually doing selfie mode and doing stuff like in your bathroom or kitchen for your brand. I mean, it makes so much sense. The, the, I have a little pet peeve at the moment when I'm scrolling through Instagram is when there are people who are promoting themselves, nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it's a bit of a weird sponsored post and I'm like, I don't get this content. Like, would you advise a client to do that? It's their own page, it's not a business. I guess they are their own business. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm a bit like, I don't know what you're trying to say to me. You literally just want me to follow them. It's all about being organic. And I think, I'm sure Waleed can relate to this. When a brand has too many brand guidelines or says, don't say this or do this mm. color, or you know, they'll add a line in your script that's something just so commercialized that you would never say in your video. And you sometimes have to have that push and pull with a brand and say, listen, like I can say that that line, but it's going to feel really unorganic and exactly. it's going to feel like an ad. And True. you and I both will actually lose from that because it'll get less views and shares. 100% robotic. Um, now we're talking about brands here. What about individuals? What are some of the mistakes that you're seeing people, you know, commit do while they're trying to build their own brand? Absolutely. For for one, uh, so a lot of people will do like a, a picture in their in their profile pic, and it's not their face. So starting, you got to start with your face. If you're a dentist office, if you're a lawyer, a, a real estate agency, it's all about face. You know, Tim Cook actually has more fans on LinkedIn than Apple I does. I say this all the time. Yeah. Jeff Richard Bezos Brent's has more Branson. Yes. than Virgin. Yeah. So so it's it's a really good time to be a face, to be a human right now. And so what people need to be doing is providing value. A lot of times they. Try 
try and get on TikTok or Reels or YouTube and just sell their services or product. Instead, they need to provide value to their target audience. Ask yourself, who is my target audience? What are three things that they need to know? And just teach them. Don't ask for anything in return, just teach them. So last question from me is, <laughs> why should we trust you? <laughs> like, why should we come to you? What makes you this, this be all and end all of social media? Why should you whoa, trust me? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. But I mean, that's very genuine. You have to ask your producers on <laughs> yeah, that. But, no, I yeah. mean, you, why should we come to, of to course, the Google company? Of course, of course. So, so I, I started three years ago with zero, so zero subscribers, zero followers. I now have around three million Amazing. and uh, over one billion views for, across my channels as well as for, my, for our clients. So we're an agency based in Dubai. We have clients throughout Dubai, London, and, and the US. Um, and, and I like to say that we're human first. We're creators first. We're yeah. not an ad agency. So whether it's for my own channel or, or clients were all about bringing in those faces. And see, I knew the answer <laughs> and that's why I asked him because I, 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 I trust Upton. I would come to him and I'd come to his business. Upton, again, thank you so much for coming back on the show. You're always so knowledgeable. I really appreciate your time and as I think we all do and Dina's taken some notes as well on yeah. the side, hasn't she? Right, it is about that time for the DXB in 60. Lane Redman, yes. over to you. Thank you very much. Right, our guest, I want to I ask Upton, uh, the, the 60 seconds. Oh, right, point, yeah. At, yeah, yeah, you need to come back and we do this. But for now, Walid, yeah. now your life is so colourful. You've done so many different things. Um, but we're going to try and get it down to 60 seconds. All right. Do you think that's possible? Yeah? Maybe. Your life is 60 seconds. You want to answer as much what's as possible. What's happening? Let's try it. It's the face of a man who asking, has no clue of what's exactly. going on. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to be asking you 60 in 60 seconds All about right. your life as okay. much as possible. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Six seconds on the clock, please. Thank you. Tick, tick, Three, tick. Two, one. Let's go. <laughs> now, if you were not an influencer or a dentist, what would you be? A uh, presenter. No, oh, nice. Whoa. What's your most <laughs> prized possession? Uh, Something you own that you can't wear. Car. Oh, okay. Nice. Your hidden gem in Dubai. Uh, it's not yeah. a hidden, but it's Expo. I love the place. Ah, oh, <laughs> lovely. Don't we all? Don't yeah. we all? Uh, your inspiration, your muse. Uh, my grandfather. Nice. Lovely. Your social media platform of choice. Instagram. Okay. Your motto in life and in work. Uh, live to live to reach to better dreams. Nice. Ooh, yeah. That's a good nice. one. That's a good one. Um, a topic you could just go on and on and on about. Travel. Yes. Top series that you've watched this summer. This summer. Oh, oh the t it's sticking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one last question, let's do it. The most interesting person you've met in the city of Dubai? Uh, well, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, okay. two oh, days wow. ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah, at Jitex. Oh. oh, wow. 60 well, seconds are done. 60 yes, seconds it is. <laughs> and it's been so good getting to know Thank you. you. Have been, both of you have been amazing. Thank, Thank you guys you, so much. It's Thank been so such much. a fun episode. Now we're off to a break, but don't you go anywhere because we're going to be bringing you a sneak peek of the hit duo performing tonight at DXB Today, plus Nimi's chat with Jada Pinkett Smith. Guys, don't you go anywhere. Bye. Hello, everybody. We are The Mirrors, an acoustic trio based in Dubai. We are Jimmy from Egypt, Michael from England, and Luisa from Colombia.